welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Making Magazine. My name is Danny Delido. We're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles Show in West Hollywood. I'm here with Sissamu with his movie, The Cusa for Two. Let's take a look at the clip. Welcome and congratulations on your film. Thank you very much. Uh, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Um, it's a story about a recent re-retired Yakuza uh, who wants to propose to his girlfriend, um, but somehow um, his apartment is locked up and he cannot get out. And then he finds out why the, lo fil uh, the room is locked up and then it, the all craziness ensues after that. There is definitely craziness, and I love. There's so many. It, it, there's, there's so many different moments. I sort of when it, I was like, I was, it was very funny moments, and then some very like serious moments. Mm -hmm. um, now you took on three hats for this. You were the director, writer, and editor. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Um, firstly, how did you come up with the idea of the film? Uh, the idea came about a really long time ago when I was thinking of something to do by myself. Uh, I was an editor and still am an mm -hmm. editor. Uh, as a trade and and I needed something so that I can just do it myself so I have um, I had no uh, confidence in my directing abilities or writing abilities because I'm from a uh, foreign country so what I thought I could do was to reduce as much as possible and I just thought about the movie in uh, about the guy in the room and uh, how can I make it interesting so that's started like ten, seven years or so, and and you know things just start to evolve after that. Now you also uh, had a brilliant, um, a brilliant lead actor, mm -hmm. um, and uh, so tell us more about how he got involved with the film. Yes, uh, his name is Shu Sakimoto. He is um, I found him through audition, mm -hmm. and he came in and he read for the part, and it wasn't actually a, a film about yakuza until he read an audition for me. Um, I was looking for somebody who can play a um, uh, bad guy, but also a funny guy. And when he came in and he read, read it, and he, you know, his, he, uh, his audition was perfect, so I just changed my script to be, oh yeah, it's gonna be yeah, Yakuza, it's, he's, he's perfect. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's how it, how, how it became Yakuza, because, mm -hmm. of, because of him, pretty much. He's got such a great sort of dynamic of character. He's very comical, and it's, it's some very endearing moments. Very, very. Um, what would you say was your biggest challenge making this film? Uh, the biggest challenge uh, was um, finding people, um, the crew, because I, like I said, I'm an editor, so I didn't know a lot of people. Um, but through a lot of my friends, uh, um, I met a great producer whose name is Gloria. I met great, great DP. Uh, her name is Kristen Fieldhouse, and they really, really helped me. It, we shot in DP's house uh, with her on camera, and uh, everybody kind of um, helped me to make it together. My son was there. My wife was making a meal for everyone. Oh, so you made uh, it very family. It's, it's, very, family it's, it's like a family camp. Kind of That's great. Yeah, so, and my 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 son is running around. <laughs> well, my DP's dog is also running around there <laughs> chasing each other so it was really a uh, fun set and um, so yeah we had a lot of fun actually. So originally you're from one of my favorite countries in the world Japan um, I don't know how you left Japan because I would have just stayed there <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. Biggest um, mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the food my goodness oh, I but, know, right? oh yeah. my goodness but but you did meet it 13 years ago mm -hmm. Um, uh, is there some influence in in your filmmaking from mm. from where you were where you were from, or did you kind of just completely want to make sort of American style films? How was how was that for you? I mean, I think I discovered that I'm really Japanese once I moved here. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I wasn't really good films students of films when I was in Japan. Like, I didn't know much about Japanese films. But once I moved over here, pe uh, people in you know outside of Japan really love 
Japanese culture and Japanese films. Yeah. And that got me into it. And I, you know, I have more understanding of how, how much of, uh, you know, great influence they were. And they influenced the movies that um, um, other filmmakers make. You mm-hmm. know, Kurosawa influenced Swiver, also influenced uh, vendors and stuff like that. So yeah. um, I, I would say the influence is more of that. Um, mm-hmm. But as a Japanese, I, growing up in Japan, I understand the culture and I really appreciate appreciate you know being here be coming from that environment mm-hmm. and making um some some something unique coming from a different kind of you know yeah. parts of the world and that kind of point of view well i mean the greatest thing is that you know they say this is a new kind of venture for you as a you know in directing as coming from an editing background mm-hmm. um what's it like after all the hard work you've made in the film mm-hmm. um to be selected for new filmmakers los angeles Oh, uh, it's been great. I have a couple of films that I edited. What was uh, fortunately got um, selected at New Filmmakers before. That's great. And so the directors that I work with really encouraged me to uh, have your directorial debut. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Rachel Goldberg, mm-hmm. who uh, um, did uh, Rosita Lopez. Yes. Which I edited, uh, got selected, and she really um, liked New Filmmakers. Also. Uh, another director, Erin Lee, mm-hmm. she did Kepler X Forty Seven, which mm-hmm. I also edited, and she said we, sh- we should, I should definitely submit to new filmmakers, and I, I'm really, really fortunate to be selected as well. So your third director debut, but third film for new filmmakers. That's very impressive. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, what is going to be next for you? You're going to be delve into more directing. What's happening for you? What's next? Uh, Hopefully, yes. <laughs> I I need I I need to write. I think I need to write more. Um, and uh, there's some project I'm talking about. Um, short short content that we want to produce. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna start writing about um, a feature film. And but I also because I'm still an editor, I have a lot of projects I'm working on and I'm going to work on. And hopefully one of those will be at New Filmmakers at LA back again. And to celebrate together, it'll be so much fun. And the greatest thing is, is uh, the, the fact that any film that you direct is always going to be brilliantly edited as well. Because, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Listen, we 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 loved your film, and uh, we're excited this is to have your third film uh, in our in our film festival. So congratulations again, and uh, we look forward to seeing more of your work. Thank you very much.